So for quite a few months now, I, said I do some home workout videos for people to follow. Um, finally getting around to doing it, excellent. Uh, this one's just gonna be a short warm up video. So this is what you need to do just to get your body going before you do your main exercise session. So we are going to warm up for four minutes and then we're gonna um, do some mobilization around the joint uh, and take it from there. So I'm gonna use my timer. We're gonna do 30 seconds per exercise, this warm up, there's four exercises and then we will stop. Uh, so yeah, let's see how we go. So we're going to start with just marching on the spot. Here we go. So I've got a chair next to me for stability, if I need it for balance or anything. I'm just going to march on the spot. I'm going to keep my chest lifted and my shoulders down and relaxed, bringing each foot off the ground fully each time. You can either do it side onto a chair or you can do it whilst behind the chair. It's up to you for this one. So just walking on the spot, trying to keep that chin parallel to the ground in a nice relaxed posture. So there we go, 30 seconds. So I'm going to change to my next exercise. And that's going to be a toe tap. So I'm going to tap my toe out at approximately 11 and one o'clock. So 12 o'clock straight in front of me. I'm going to tap my foot out one o'clock and 11 o'clock. Again, posture needs to be nice and relaxed. If you want, you can do this behind the chair as well. Again, it's that 11 to 10, pointing the toes. Okay, moving on, we're gonna do side steps. So I'm gonna take a step to the side and then take a step back again. The chair's there. If you need the chair for this, then I would advise you stand behind it like this, and then you can step side to side with the chair as an assistant. It's up to you. making sure we step properly and not just swaying. Lovely, and going to the last exercise, we're gonna tap our toe behind. Again, at uh, this time I'd advise you to be facing your chair and then just tapping back with your toe. Light tap and bringing those feet back together. Take it at your own pace. Tapping. using your chair for balance or assistance if you need it. Lovely, we're going back to the beginning, so we want to go back to that march again. Hopefully things might seem a tiny bit looser, so try to pick up those knees a little bit more. Looking forward, chin parallel to the ground. And you can be doing it sideways, uh, sorry, facing the chair like this as well. So just trying to get those knees up a little bit and using our arms as well, making sure you're swinging your arms from the shoulder. Fantastic, we're changing to our toe tap, so we're tapping out 1 o'clock and 11 p.m. There we go. Using the chair if you want. If you're reasonable comfortable with your balance, <coughs> excuse me, you might want to add that bicep curl. So you're tapping with your toe, coming back and using a bicep curl as well. So I can get the whole body a bit warmer. Okay, and then on to our side steps. Stepping side to side. Lovely. Do it facing the chair, but I just want to demonstrate my feet is, foot is coming over and I'm stepping one side to the other. Keeping my knees a bit soft, chest lifted, shoulders relaxed, looking forward. Chair always there if you need it. Lovely. Moving on, we're going to go to the last one, which is a toe tap behind. So using the chair for balance, tapping with that toe lightly, and then coming back up to standing. There we go. There's just 14 seconds more of this warm-up. Lovely. Keep going. Fantastic. Okay, so we've just warmed up, we've loosened everything up, hopefully got the blood pumping a bit, muscles start to feel a bit warmer. So we're going to do a bit of mobility, we're going to mobilise some joints before moving on to the main exercise session. To do this, 
I'm going to move my chair back here. Okay, standing nice and upright, shoulders relaxed, body pointing forward. What we're going to do is keeping those shoulders pointing forward, we're going to move our head and neck over to one side of the room nice and slowly, back to the middle, and then over to the other. So my shoulders are staying pointing forward, knees nice and soft. do this four times each side. So make sure you keep those shoulders pointing forward, just the neck and the head that are moving. Last time. Excellent. Okay, moving down, shoulders. We're going to take the shoulders up to the ears. We're going to roll them back, squeeze those shoulder blades together and bring them back and down. And again, so we're going up, squeeze those shoulder blades together and then coming down, trying to lengthen that neck on the way down. So up, around and back, and again, up, around, squeeze those shoulder blades together and down, and once more, up, around and back down. Okay, moving on down, let's just work through the waist a little bit. So keeping your hands down by your legs, okay, palms facing your thighs. I'd like you to reach down one side of your leg, then come back up again. Okay, so those hips are staying where they are. We're not pooping them out like that, popping them out like that. Okay, coming back and down on the other side. So working through this bit. Reaching down, in okay, case we drop our TV remote control, back up again, a couple more. One more. Lovely. Okay, and now we're going to rotate through that waist, we're going to continue warming up that spine. So, this time the shoulders can move, but the hips need to stay pointing forward. So, I'm moving my shoulders, head and neck round to one side and I'm coming back to the middle. The range of movement will probably be different for everybody and it might only be small, but that's fine. It's keeping those hips pointing forward. So you come over to one side, back to the middle, and then over to the other side. Chairs there if you need some balance. Great. Okay, and going down to our ankles. So I'm just going to move my chair so that you can see. What I'd like you to do, keeping the hand on the chair for balance, pick a point on the floor, put your heel onto that spot, and then try and get your toe in the same spot. So it's heel and then toe. Heel and then toe. So you want to do that four times each. Put heel, toe, heel, toe, and then change foot, okay? Again, you front of your chair, you don't need to move yours. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Really trying to get that movement through the ankle. Lovely. And come to a stop. So now you're all warmed up, it's time for the main exercise session. 